gene tumor born in Washington, D.C. on December 26 in 1894 and died in March in 1967 in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. He was an American poet and novelist, mainly associated with the Harlem Renaissance. Born in a black family and was later abandoned by his father and then lost his mother to appendicitis as a teenager. He spent the rest of his years living with his grandparents as the only child. <coughs> as Richard Eldridge has noted, Tumor sought to transcend standard definition of race. I think he never claimed that he was a white man, Mr. Eldridge said. He always claimed that he was a representative of a new emergement race that was a combination of various races. He averged this virtual throughout his life. Williams Andrew has noticed he was one of the first writers to move beyond the idea that any black ancestries make you black. Gene Tumor is most famously known for his work in the novel Cain, which was published in 1923 and hailed by critics for its literary experimentation and portrayal of African American cultures and characters. This novel was so important in the Harlem Renaissance because it reveals distinctive customs, rhythms, sights, and sounds of life in particular regions and cities of the country, especially through the use of local dialect and slang. And here is a poem by Gene Toomer called People. For those fixed on white, white is white. To those fixed on black, it is the same, and red is red, yellow, yellow. Surely there are such sights in the many colored world, or in the mind. The strange thing is that these people would never see themselves, or you, or me. Are they not in their minds? Are we not in the world? This is a curious blindness for those that are colorblind. Will queer beliefs that men who believe in sights disbelieve in seers? O oh, people, if you but used your other eyes, you would see beings. Like other Harlem Renaissance writers, Gene Toomer was interested in the culture and roots of his people. He wrote poetry, plays, and novels, talking about the freedom and individual rights for African Americans to stop racism with separation for the colored and white people. Come, brother, come, let's lift it. Come now, hew it, roll away. Shackles fall upon the judgment day, but let's not wait for it. God's bodies got a soul. Bodies like to roll the soul. Can't blame God if we don't roll. Come, brother, roll, roll. Cotton bales are the fleecy way. Weary sinners bare feet trod. Softly, softly to the throne of God. We ain't a going to wait until the judgment day. Nazar, Nazar, hump, eho, eho, roll away. We ain't a going to wait until the judgment day. God's body's got a soul. Bodies like to roll the soul. Can't blame God if we don't roll. Come, brother, roll, roll. Gene Toomer was such an important figure in the Harlem Renaissance because he was a writer that based his plays, poems, and novels to bring more attention to problems like racism, individual rights, and segregation. Reapers by Gene Toomer Black reapers with the sound of steel on stones are sharpening sights, I see them place the hones in their hip pockets as a thing that's done and start their silent swinging one by one. Black horses drive a mower through the weeds, and there a field rat startled squealing bleeds. His belly close to the ground, I see the blade, blood stained, continue cutting weeds and shade. The Harlem Renaissance gave African Americans across the country a new spirit of self determination, pride, new social consciousness, and a new commitment to political activism. It also brought the artistic flowering of the new Negro movement as the participants celebrated their African heritage and embraced self-expression, 
rejecting long-standing degrading stereotypes. The Harlem Renaissance was the development of the Harlem neighborhood in New York City during the early 20th century and the subsequent social and artistic explosion of African American culture. Lasting roughly from the 1910s through the mid-1930s, this is considered the golden age in African American culture, literature, music, stage performance, and art. Another thing the Harlem Renaissance was known for bringing was new fashion ideas. During the Harlem Renaissance, Harlem was thriving with bright, attractive buildings that were homes to showcase people's talent and work like dancing, plays from people like Gene Toomer and other professions that they could only do in Harlem at the time. Harlem in this time was considered the golden age for African American culture because of the freedom and great new things it brought to them in all aspects of life like music, business, food, and culture that they weren't able to represent as much as they could in Harlem. Gene Toomer had an African American father and a mixed mother, which led to the question many people had that was if he was white or black. His answer would be I am American, I am nor black nor white. This is one of the reasons why Gene Toomer was such a great figure in the Harlem Renaissance. It was because all he wanted was the best for each race and everybody to be equal. No, no, baby, definitely no, 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 oh, no, no, I can't go for you. Absolutely, positively, no, 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 oh, baby, find somebody new. You're nobody's fashion place. Gene Toomer's evening song. Full moon rising on the waters of my heart. Lakes and moon and fires. Clawing tires holding her lips apart. Promises of slumber leaving shore to charm the moon waves. Miracle made Vesper keeps. Clawing sleeps. And I'll be sleeping soon. Clawing curl like the sleeping waters where the moon waves start. Radiant, resplendent, she gleams, glowing dreams, lips pressing against my heart. <laughs> <laughs> 